Samantha finally got her meeting with hotel magnate Richard Wright. Smart, tough, a real ball buster. Well, I've enjoyed meeting you. But truth be told, Ms. Jones, your resume is all fluff. Fluff? It's just parties and social events. What is it that you do in your hotels? Nuclear fission? <gasps> I admit I'm intrigued. If I wasn't, you would have been down in the lobby having a cappuccino 10 minutes ago. Here's an idea. I'm talking to Brad Rosen. Maybe you two can get together and share the work. Five hotels, it's a big job. I know it's a big job. That's why I'm still here and not down in the lobby having a cappuccino. I appreciate your offer, but I don't need a partner. Read between the lines, Ms. Jones. I deal with a lot of business men. What are you saying? That business men would be more comfortable dealing with a woman if she were working next to a man? You have a lot to offer. You might want to consider working with a partner who isn't so emotional. Emotional is just code for I don't want to hire a woman. Exactly. They're that way at my firm, too. They think you're going to cry over a legal brief. Well, have you ever cried over a brief? Certainly, but only in the privacy of my own office. I cried once at the gallery, once in 10 years. And from that day on, it was careful. Don't make Charlotte cry. I have never cried at work. I fake cried to my editor when I missed a deadline. I told him I was having a bad time at home, but really, I was having a good time in the Hamptons. <laughs> well, that makes the rest of us look bad. Oh, boo-hoo, it was 80 degrees and sunny. A guy gets angry in a meeting, he's a pistol. A woman, she's emotional. If I'd say anything like, I don't think that's hung high enough. They say, ooh, careful, don't make Charlotte cry. What does he think I'm going to do? Get my period and ruin his empire? Yes, men, wait, let me rephrase that. Some men. Good move, counsel. That will look much better on the court transcripts of this dinner. Some men are threatened by strong businesswomen, and they have to find a way to make her be just a woman again. Hence, you're too emotional. Hence yet. Well, I'm going back in there, guns blazing, cool, calm, collected. I'm going to impress that arrogant motherfucker so much, he's going to beg me to take the job. Just don't cry. Once. Once in 10 years. Well, this chickie's got to run, or I'm going to miss my ride with Aiden, and then I'm going to have to take mass transit to the country. Then there'll be some tears.